Welcome back everybody, my name is Jim and thank you for joining me again on the RV Concierge channel. Tonight we're going to do a review of the 2021 Coachman Sport Coach 402 TS. But before we get started, let's say hello to Abby. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Abby, thank you for helping me with the camera in this cold weather. I know it's freezing out. My pleasure. I appreciate it. <laughs> Coachman Sport Coach built on the Freightliner raised rail chassis with the 360 horsepower Cummins and the Allison 3000 transmission. And I just learned from my rep today that this is not an entry level diesel. So Coachman Sport Coach is a luxury diesel pusher in an entry level horsepower chassis. How's that sound? It's pretty fancy. I do like it. Yeah. So most of your entry level coaches are going to have a 340. This is a 360, uh, but the next step up is a 380. Then they go to a 400, 450, all the way up to like a 605. This is a beautiful coach at an amazing price, and I cannot wait to show you the inside. But let's take a look at the outside, and then we'll hurry up and get on the inside. All right. So this coach does have the V-Ride, which is a rear suspension add. It helps with body roll going side to side. Mm -hmm. It's also built with the ASDO, which is a green composite board that will not delaminate if water gets in it. They do have power awning on the patio, a power awning at the door, this is a full fiberglass roof, and they have slide toppers on each of the slides, and they do have a full body paint with base coat and clear coat. Your awnings have speakers built onto the bottoms of the arms on both ends, and there's a little radio inside the door that's gonna play to that speakers. Uh, this coach does have dual fuel fill into the 100 gallon of fuel tank, and these are the alloy wheels, and they are Michelin, 275 80R22.5. We'll get the cargo carrying capacity when we head in. So let's go through the compartments. This is a triple slide, Abby. We got a full wall slide on this side and two slides on the other side. So in this first compartment, you have storage, but up there in the right-hand top corner, you have a air quick connect for the air compressor in there. So you got one on either side of the coach, and that's an 18.7 cubic foot per minute, and it'll do up to 120 PSI. So you fill bike tires, rafts, whatever you want. The next couple compartments are going to be full pass-through. This one does have a slide-out tray in it, which is nice. They got some extra tiles for you and the ladder for the bunk over the cab. And on the other side, you have the air compressor hose. Okay. Slam latch aluminum baggage doors. And Coachman is using a taller baggage door than most. So you're going to have a lot of pass-through storage. You do have an outside entertainment, nice TV, mm -hmm. and some more full pass-through storage right here. Man, this basement is huge. That's your stone guard that hangs on the back. You see how you have room over top of the frame rails? And they do a galvanized metal in the floor. Most people, the floor ends at the frame rail. So these guys got really tall baggage doors. It makes it easy to get stuff in and out of those yeah, compartments. Yeah, I would say so. Next one is your waste tanks. So this is a two uh, bathroom coach, two full bathrooms. Wow. That one is where your fresh black and gray are, so that doesn't open. You got a little storage compartment right here. I don't know if I know need what these to are. Right there. Funks. You got it. Uh, they do have the frameless windows too, which is nice. Another little storage compartment there. Actually, that's um, your DEF tank or your diesel exhaust fluid tank. And the last compartment on this side houses the inverter. And then a little bit of compartment space over here. I, I wouldn't store anything in there because you got electrical components, but you can definitely store stuff on this side. And here is your 10 gallon direct spark ignition gas electric water heater. 
Coming around to the back, you do have a ladder to access the roof, and that is a full fiberglass roof, roof that you can walk on it. Um, you got your 10,000 pound hitch with the seven pin connector. On top, you do have a backup camera, and this does have side view cameras as well. Nice rear fiberglass cab. Here you've got a furnace. This is a dual furnace system, so there's another one up further. That's the air intake for the engine. And right here you have your uh, isolator switch for the chassis battery, so you can turn those off. And then that's just the air cleaner, uh, the air filter for the engine intake. A little bit of storage right here, and that's your shore power cord with the auto transfer switch. This is a 50 amp service, and it does have two air conditioners. This one is your propane tank and your house and chassis batteries. storage right here there's your wet bay you do have full house filtration your cable hookup fresh tank fill low point drains outdoor shower with hot and cold you got a light out here um, that's the light or that's the water pump switch you have your city water connection and your winterization inlet and your sewer flush right there. Now the water pump is right here in this pump, in this uh, compartment, very easy to get at. And you got your low point drain for the fresh water tank as well. There's where you hook up your stinky sleep. Ew. No yum? <laughs> nope. Just kidding. All right, then you have your mid dump. Since this is two full baths, there's three tanks in this. You got uh, black and gray, and then this is another technically black, but it's gonna hold your all of your water from your mid bath. Full pass through. It's big. I think that's the size of our trailer we have right now. <laughs> no, it is not. You stop it. Then you have your front furnace and more full pass through. Now, this does have the slide out tray as well. There's your hose for the compressor. And that does slide out in this direction as well. And this compartment is another air compressor chuck in there but also storage and there's your other fuel fill now both of those fuel fills go into the same hundred gallon tank and your last compartment right here has your hydraulics for your leveling jacks your windshield washer fluid some electrical components for the chassis and you're released for your slide out generator So this coach does have a slide out generator. It's an AKW quiet diesel generator, more than enough to run everything in this coach at the same time. What I really like, Abby, this whole sports coach uh, logo mm -hmm. lights up with an LED light. Sweet. So that's the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside of this beautiful coach. All right, let's go. Wow, the cargo carrying capacity of this coach is 5,811 pounds. Wow. That's nearly three ton. <laughs> All right, Abby, come show them how you can get back to the refrigerator, bathroom, and bedroom with the slide outs closed. Okay. Look how wide open that is. Can't believe the slides are in. All right, access to the refrigerator. And this cute little bathroom and bedroom. Awesome. Let's open it up and show them to with the coach opened up. All right, let's do it. All right, so let's show them the cab area, and then we'll work our way back. All right, let's do it. All right, so the Freightliner dash is all redesigned. It's This one has the new LCD display uh, cockpit. Tons of charging ports. It does have power shades in the front. Then you have... Uh, this big screen here is both your side view and backup camera monitor, as well as all of your infotainment uh, for the dash. This has a uh, full hydraulic leveling and heated power mirrors, tilt and telescope wheel. Very nice, like it. Um, you got some storage up here in the front. This is cool. Check this out. All right. Nice. Drop down bunk. I really like that. Yeah. So um, this does have netting. So if you got little kids up there, you can take this netting 
pull that out, hook it to these little D-rings up there. You don't have to worry about your babies falling out of bed. That extends your living space for sure. Very nice. I like Extra it. Extra sleeping. Mm -hmm. These front seats both swivel around. And this thing has a huge patio side dinette. Let's take a look at that. I'm going to try to get this up. All right. Look how wide that table is. You can get two adults on that after that's been converted to a sleeper. No problem. You do have storage drawers under each of the bench. Look how deep they are. They're huge. Very nice. Wow. TV and sound bar are directly across from these power reclining heated massage theater seats. Mm -hmm. So listen here, folks. Whoever gets these power recliners is going to be a treat because they did not design them with these. They've been having so many furniture problems that they actually put these in special. So these are only going to be for a limited time. Um, I think the next one that we have coming as well is going to have this. But after that, they're just going to be regular manual recliners as the option. But there'll be a sofa, a sleeper sofa as the standard. I really like these uh, compartments up here with the glass in them. Mm -hmm. It's a really sharp coach. It's really beautiful. beautiful. I really like it. So I love the positioning, though. You're directly across from this gigantic smart TV. Yep. That's, That's a smart. Roku TV. Okay, what else we got? Nice Edison lights. I really like those. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're cute. Nice touch. New GE refrigerator. Now it's got the strap on and keep it closed. They stopped putting that little wing screw in there, and now they just have uh, the strap that holds it closed when you go into motion. It's like a huge. Very nice. That's residential big. refrigerator. It is very big. Okay, we'll strap that on closed. That refrigerator is directly across from a nice kitchen. I really like this um, farm sink that they're putting in here. That's sharp. It's huge. Mm -hmm. Residential pull-out sprayer faucet. And this one does have the electric uh, cooktop here. You got your tower power right there. Two 110s, two USBs. I really like that backsplash That backsplash well. is, is gorgeous. Yep, I dig it. It's got like a crackle. The... Uh, it's got like a clear finish on it with crackle on it. It's really neat looking. Storage above the sink here. A little window to look out while you're washing dishes. I like how that countertop's really deep too. You can yeah. put your Keurig or your toaster or whatever back there. This does have a convection microwave oven. And then you have four drawers below the cooktop here. Soft closing. Yeah, all soft close. All of your controls are going to be right here. You got your tank levels, your water heater switches, your slide switches, your inverter, and your auto gen start all right in this cabinet. I love this radius corner. Yeah, that's pretty. I do like that as well. Mm -hmm. Over here, you have some pantry space and with some more drawers, soft close drawers. All right, everybody, here's where I'm gonna ask you for some help. I can't grow or get better without your feedback. Please leave me some feedback in the comments below. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, this right here is your bunk beds. Those are some big bunk have, beds. Yeah, they're pretty pretty long. I think you can get an adult in here. They mm -hmm. have power ports and the cable hook up there. So if you wanna put a TV in there, you could. But you can always fold this up out of the way. And there's a little slide pin here that goes into right there. You can use it as a wardrobe. They already have the hanging rod in it. And bifold doors to close it off when you don't want to see it. I like it. So, Abby, there's a new floor plan coming out. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be going out to Indiana, and I'm going to debut this new product. It's actually kind of like this floor plan, only it's called a 410ES. And it's going to be a bath and a half with bunks instead of two full baths with bunks. But they're going to do the bow. I can't wait to do that video. I'm That's super cool. excited. All right, come on into the bedroom. Pocket door at the hold bedroom. Hold on, you didn't want to do the bathroom first? Oh, yeah, I forgot the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So directly across from the bunk beds, you have the bathroom. Now, this is a full bath. you got a shower and everything in here. And then you also have a full bath in the rear. Wow, that's nice. Nice shower, vanity, porcelain toilet with a push-button flush macerating toilet. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I like it, guys. Put a fan in there. Beautiful yep. little bathroom. Got a pocket door at the bedroom. Really Love nice. pocket doors. We, we do. We like the pocket doors. <laughs> King bed, true 72 by 80. USB ports on either side of the bed. There's also 110 outlets. As all 
coachmen have the coach pap station up there it's a dedicated outlet off of the inverter for your cpap machine because coachman cares they do and <laughs> you do have windows on either side of that bed too so if you want to put the fan on get some cross ventilation you can do that even their egress window opens you can huh. you can just prop that that's new and and let the air come in through that i, really I like, like that, that. Well. yeah you don't feel trapped you got wardrobes on either side of the tv with six drawers below and they're all soft clothes and then right here you have some hidden storage behind the TV. Cool. And you got your 110 breakers and your 12 volt fuses right there. And then back here you have your rear bath. You got a shower here. Big shower, guys. Stackable washer and dryer. Good clean fun in there. Oh yeah, that's a good size shower. Stackable washer and dryer. Very, very nice. Over here, you got another porcelain push button macerating toilet. I like how it's in the corner, like yeah, like it's a throne. It is. Look at this. <laughs> you even got some storage right there with some adjustable shelves. Don't try and open it while you're sitting there and get whacked in the oh, head. Oh yeah, that would be good. Then you do have a medicine cabinet here. Mm-hmm. And I love that linen closet. Yeah, right let's there. get back it's in huge. here. Huge, huge, very big. Yep. All right. Yeah, a little storage below too. I think you could fit a waste basket or something under there. You get it? There we go. And then this little access panel here is the engine access panel. All right, let's give them a once through and we'll wrap this up. All right, guys. Beautiful Coachman Sports Coach brought to you by the RV Concierge. <laughs> So that, everybody, is the 2021 Coachman Sports Coach 402 TS, two full baths with bunk beds and a full wall slide. If you have any questions or if you'd like to know more, you can text, call, or email me. Information is right there. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Stay tuned for more. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.